Well, I was born in Guadalajara, Mexico. I lived there for like uh, two years. Uh, then I moved to Toronto for a few years. Went back to Cabo San Lucas for nine years, which is where I started uh, musical theater. Uh, my school used to do, every year they used to do like uh, musical theater with all, the, with all the school, with all the students, just to be appreciation for the parents and everything. It used to be a big production, you know, for the school. I loved it. I used to do it every year. I used to look forward to it. And I had to think really hard if this is what I wanted to do. And, and hey, there was one moment where I was like, yeah, man, this is, this is where my passion is. And, and I really want to follow this, right? Follow my dream. So luckily, I had a mother that really supported me through, through my dream, um, uh, both emotionally and economically. I studied here. I got here in 2017 in Vancouver. We had a lot of teachers, which helped us through the school years. And we had a lot of plays. We had a lot of opportunities. Uh, one thing that I recommend you is take the, a lot of opportunities you can get at when, when you're a student. You have Phil dedicated to you as much as he is right now. I would take so much advantage of that because you know how great Phil is and how open he is. Uh, you got to meet also, and you got a lot of people that, that, that is great in the business. And don't take for granted that opportunity that you have right now because believe me, later you're going to wish that you had that direct contact with Phil. So right now that it's easier for you all to, to have this direct support from Phil and all these instructors that, that have years in, in, in the, in, of experience in the field, well, take it, right? At the end, at the end of the course where they bring agents from, from the city a lot, they ask you to prepare a scene. And I was lucky enough to have two agents interested in me. Uh, one of them is the one that I'm with, Michelle, uh, from Performance Management. I did auditions for about a year and a half, two years, until I had to stop for economical reasons. And my permit was expired, so I had to go to school again, and it was a whole process. I had to start working at a restaurant as a host. Um, and, and I worked my way up until restaurant manager, like a year and a half, where I was like off acting until I wanted to come back with my, with my agent. I told that I was in a better spot right now and that I was going to the gym and, and that I feel, I feel ready to come back to acting and, and, and I was 100% sure that I was gonna get something. She denied me. She, she didn't tell me that she didn't like me or anything. She just didn't have a spot. It was tough times. COVID was, COVID was starting. There wasn't a lot of gigs going on. Um, uh, a lot of agents were reducing their, their roster because there wasn't enough, enough jobs. So I panicked. I panicked because that was my only option. That was literally my only option to come back to acting. I was like, nope, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take this no. So I sent her an email again. With the, with the email, I had to be really thoughtful about what I wrote, right? To not sound really like pushy, be like, or beggy, you know what I mean? Like, just tell her that I'm prepared. I sent that email and she accepted me. She was like, okay, I send you the contract. And it was another year and a half that I, that I auditioned uh, without getting anything. Uh, so in total for me was three years. Three years uh, auditioning, easily more than 75 auditions without booking anything. Like no commercials, no TV shows. I'm not saying that you're gonna get the same, you're gonna be in the same situation. For some people it's longer. I've heard that George Clooney, it took him like 12 years to get his, 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 fir his first great gig. Like big gig, you know? So for some people it takes a lot of time, for some people it takes two weeks, you know? In my case it took me three years. Three years of not getting anything, not getting even a commercial. You know what kept me going? The callbacks. If you're getting callbacks, hey, you're doing something right. If your agent is telling you uh, the casting director really liked you, um, uh, he wants to try you for something else, uh, hey, that's, that's one step right there because you're getting exposure right there. And, and there's, there are a lot of casting directors, but not that many, you know? So you're going to be... Uh, seeing them a lot of times. So, so take that advantage. Um, if you're getting a lot of callbacks, don't let that discourage, uh, don't let that, discourage you that you're not getting any auditions. Uh, you'll eventually get there. When I got the, 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 the Grease audition, it said dancing and singing performers only. I was like, great, I'm not gonna get this, right? Cool. But those three years that I did auditions, I never rejected an audition. No matter what it was. No matter what it was. Obviously for each person is different, their, their criteria for accepting an audition. But for me, I was desperate. I was desperate for, for getting in there, you know? Which made me, like, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I can remember that the first audition that I rejected was this year. And it was because I, I really didn't have an, a lot of time that, for, for that particular audition. So don't reject them. Like, take all the opportunities that you have, even if you don't think you're gonna get it, it's still exposure for you in, in front of the casting directors, you know what I mean? So, um, 
I did it, the first one, Richie, was, who's was the main T-bird, I didn't get it. But they told me they want you to audition for Potato. I was like, okay, cool, that's something, right? Yeah. Getting a call back. If they're trying to, if they do that, it's because they're trying to fit you in somewhere, right? If they're trying to find you characters, right? So I was like, okay, let's try it. I did the audition for Potato. I didn't hear for like a month. And boom, I got a call back. Actually, on my birthday, December 2nd, I had the network audition with, with all the producers, with, with the directors of the show, with the showrunner, which was insane. Like, I think I, was, I wasn't that nervous about being in front of them. I was more nervous about how close I was of being there. I, was, I, was, I had one foot in, you know what I mean? And I, I think I was more, more nervous about that, of, 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 yeah. of just nailing what I had prepared, you know? A lot of the cast got, got announced before the Christmas break, which is December 19th, right? I didn't hear anything. I, I owed money to the bank, to the credit card and everything that, that, that I had. I was like, man, if I don't get this, I'm gonna have to get back to, to work. I was already applying for, for, for jobs again, restaurant manager and everything, um, until like January 7th, my agent called me and she was like, you got it, best moment of my life. I didn't cry after I hung up, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable moment. As long as your, your attitude is great and you're a positive person because that's what you need on set for sure. And if you have all that, I'm telling you, you're gonna succeed. It's just a matter of patience and knowing that for some people it takes longer and for some people it takes a short amount of time and passion. The first months of filming, it was hard because I literally, as like Phil said, I came from musical theater and it wasn't big musical theater, you know, it was like my school musical theater and back in Cabo San Lucas. Like if, everybody, if anybody knows Cabo San Lucas, it's a small little place, you know what I mean? Like it's a dot. Like it, it, it added pressure to me, I'm not gonna lie. Like it's, it, because it was jumping straight, straight to it. And they added some lines for me in, in the first day. The first day of filming, they added like one line. It was like, this house looks smart. Jeez, this place is fat city. It's real smart. My parents are super rich. It was hard, man. Like, we did that shot like seven times because the showrunner didn't like the way I said it. It was six months of filming. It was five years of learning for me. And mostly because the amount of time that I was filming, it's just crazy. You learn a lot. Be thankful of the crew all the time because, man, there were days where it was raining and, and you would see the guy on the crane on the top, uh, the one that moves the lights, covered with like a tarp while we're in, in, in the green room with our freaking heaters and yeah. covered with our jackets and everything. I'm like, I feel bad, bro. And one of the good things about that cast is that it, one or two that are like in shows already, but all of us were first comers. So all of us had the same mentality about crew and everything. Like they were so nice with the crew. Like there was a very good relationship be between crew and cast, that's for sure. You just learn that everybody has a different way of working. Yeah. And one of the experiences that I l took from that is being open being open to, to anything, to, to all the ideas that directors have because you'll definitely notice, if you work in a TV show, you'll definitely notice that each director has a different idea with shots and everything. Yeah, don't be afraid of embarrassing yourself when acting, for sure. Because I know I've gotten a lot of situations where in a, a scene partner, not in school, um, they're afraid of embracing the character that they're supposed to portray. You know what I mean? Because sometimes a character may seem a little bit goofy or a little bit whatever, you know? That's how the character is, man. If, if you're here, that means something. That means that you're already in for it, you know what I mean? So just put your passion in it, learn every day, uh, polish your skills, and um, volunteer as much as you can at school because here you have a lot of things that you can volunteer for and where you can learn a lot of experience. And, I, I'm gonna say it, it might seem small because it's a, it's a film school, but it's not small, believe me. It's, it's, it's a big step. What you're doing here is, it's already a big step forward. Like, and, and take advantage of that agent month. If you get it, get ready, prepare. Because if you prepare, again, emphasize on that, because if you prepare, as in learning lines, going through the scenes days after you present it, uh, asking Phil, present it to him, that's what I mean, prepare, you're definitely gonna get an agent. Uh, like, no doubt, no doubt. Thank you yep. so much. Well, let's thank you. Thank you everyone for your time, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, thank you so much. Appreciate you coming. Thanks, man, appreciate you coming.